Hi, honey. Did you go to the shower? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, your father's gonna join us in a few minutes, and he's in his man cave doing, well, whatever he does in his man cave. Where's Billy? Uh, he's not joining us. Why not? Because I told him not to. I mean, he's busy helping his parents paint his old bedroom and stuff like that. <laughs> well, that's too bad. I heard about him helping his parents, but I want him joining us. Your dad and I were looking forward to seeing our future son-in-law. Did I tell you he got me an Easter card? No. He did! It said, to the best mother-in-law to be. Just loved him. He's so thoughtful. Mom. Savannah, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. How can I be all right? The world is crazy right now, and apparently I'm crazy too. You're not crazy. Well... Maybe a little bit, but you've always been somewhat, you know, spirited. Mom, listen to me. I am crazy. I've gone off the deep end. <laughs> You're just being dramatic. You stuck at your apartment. Your fiance stuck at his parents' place and your wedding two weeks away. It's a lot to deal with. But, honey, we have everything under control. Did I tell you I saw Philippe at the hotel? And he said the beach should open back up. And I know we'll have to do a little social distancing with the seating. But except for you and Billy, everyone will stay six feet apart. Even the photographers. <sighs> It's going to be a beautiful wedding. Not even some stupid virus can ruin it. Savannah, smile. Come on, let me see your smile. Honey, is anything all right? Oh, it's... Mother. Mother? It must be serious if you're calling me mother. Honey, you didn't call off the wedding, did you? No, Billy and I are fine. We talked on the phone last night at 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? That's a little late to be talking on the phone, don't you think? I don't know. My days and nights are all messed up. I walk around my not knowing what to do with myself half the time. I'm sick of watching TV, sick of searching the internet, sick of cleaning the apartment. So I pour a glass of wine and then another and then another. And I look at the clock and it's almost 3 a.m. and I can't sleep. 3 a.m.? Honey, that's not good. I know, Mom. Do you know what Grandma always used to say? I know, Mom. Nothing good happens after midnight. And she was right. I know, Mom. I know that now. <laughs> oh, no. If only I could take it all back. <laughs> Savannah, calm down. Calm down. Listen. Whatever it is you said or did, it's not the end of the world. Just like this pandemic is not the end of the world. All right, start from the beginning. Tell me what happened. Okay, so last night, it's after 3 a.m. and again, I can't sleep, so I pour another glass of wine and I stand there and I stare at myself in the mirror. Maybe I should, no, I shouldn't. Another sip, staring, wandering, pondering, but maybe I should and I take another sip Yes, yes, I should. Why the heck shouldn't I? Mom, I did it. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I wish I'd have done it. I wish I could take it all back. <laughs> Savannah, 
Yeah, what did you do? And if it's not Billy, what is it? And why isn't he joining us today? None of this makes sense to me. Because, because, because I told him not to, because, because I never wanted him to see me again. No. What happened? Tell me. <laughs> but why? 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 <laughs> I don't know, Savannah, why? Mom, do you think we can continue this self-isolation for just a few more months? Maybe a year? Yes, that's what we'll do. Billy and I can put our wedding for, for a year, yeah. No, no to all of that. Savannah, my wedding is two weeks away. Yes, I know, but I need more time. It. Look at me. Look at me. Now, close your eyes. Close them. Now, take a deep breath and think about what we have planned. A romantic oceanfront setting. The waves singing praises to your union. You entering barefoot with an off-the-shoulder taffeta dress. Decorated with beads, sequins, and lace. Fresh flowers in your long, beautiful hair. Mom! What? Oh no. Grandma was right. Nothing good happens after midnight. What? I wanted some bangs. Bangs? Yes, you know, some soft, wispy bangs to draw attention to my eyes. What happened? I don't know. I was having fun. It was cute. But then this side was shorter. And then this side was a little crooked. And then this side needed to be straightened out. And then this side was lopsided. And then I just kept cutting. And I don't know, Bob, look at me. Oh, honey, it's so, so ugly. I know it's ugly, and it's my wedding day. My wedding day is two weeks away. Oh. I'm here. I'm late than ever. Joyce, who is this? I thought we were zooming it up with our baby girl and future son in law. Uh, hello, my name's George. Are you friends with our daughter? Uh, one of her bridesmaids. Uh, What's your name? Daddy, it's me. What the heck? Daddy. <laughs> Were you attacked? Don't oh, listen. Who did this to my baby girl? I did it to myself, Daddy. What the heck? George, hush. Savannah wanted some bangs, and well, things got out of hand. What the hell? She butchered her hair. Daddy. George, hush, I'm warning you. She knows and I know and, well, we all know this is a mistake that needs to be fixed before her wedding day. Honey, have you thought about getting hair extensions? Where, mom, where? All the salons are closed. Oh, hey, you could shave your head. Uh, you know, just start over. Shave my head? George, we don't need your opinion here. On second thought, Maybe Billy will like it. That's all that matters, right? I love your mother, no matter how she looks. What does that mean? Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. The ugly? Darling, when you put that white stuff all your, over your face and those curlers in your hair, you look like you belong to the walking dead. But I still love you. Uh, I, besides, I know what's underneath all that, and you ain't no zombie. You clean up mighty well. Thank you, I guess. Hey, I texted Billy Ann and told him I was signing onto the Zoom thingy. You said he'd be on here shortly. Savannah, put the towel back on my head, hurry. I say, let him see what she did. True love will overlook that god awful whack job. George, stop. Joyce, I'm just being honest. What you need to be is quiet. Daddy, don't you dare tell Billy about my hair. 
That's right, George. Our daughter needs to tell him. Hey, uh, maybe you could just start wearing one of them head coverings. Uh, that way you don't have to tell him you cut your hair, just tell him you changed religion. And do what, Daddy? Wear it to bed. I suppose you could. Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, George. Uh, hi, George. Hi, baby. Oh my god, Billy, you won't believe what you're about to see. Daddy! George! What? I was going to show him the new beer fixtures I hung up on my wall. I was going to tell him that Savannah's having a bad hair day. Speaking of, I just thought of something else. George, whatever it is, just keep it to yourself. A wig! Savannah, you could wear a wig. <laughs> Savannah, did something happen to your hair? Uh, baby, what happened? George, why don't we just give them some privacy? Oh, I'd rather watch. I want to see his expression when he sees, you know what. Uh, what's going on? George, sign off and stay in your man cave. I'll come get you when lunch is ready. Okay, but uh, hold on. Uh, Billy, I got one little piece of advice for you, son. Uh, okay. It's what's on the inside that counts. Because, see, I wouldn't take a six-pack of beer over my darling wife any day, no matter how she looks, pretty or ugly. Like I said, it's what's in here that counts. Okay. George, sign off. Okay, signing off. Bye. Uh, baby, are you okay? No. Do you want to talk about it? No. Baby, come on, talk to me. I did something bad. How bad? Extremely bad. And Billy, I blame the isolation. Oh my God, did you cheat on me? But how could you? You're all alone. Are you? Is someone there with you right now? Whoever's there, I demand to know. No, I didn't cheat on you, of course not. Okay, good. Then what happened? I wanted some bangs. Some bangs, okay, so? So? I got so happy and I'm not happy about it. Oh, so, so you mean a chop chop. Oh, Billy, I'll be the ugliest bride ever. It'll grow back. No, it's not. Let me see. It's, no. Come on, let me see. I'm warning you, it's bad. I'm sure it can't be that bad. Um, it's cute. I love it. You love it? I do. It's short and sassy. You're such a liar. Nope. Not lying. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, maybe I don't love it, but hey, I love you and I can deal with it. Deal with it? Like you forced yourself to look at me? That's not what I meant. Yes, it is. Uh, Savannah, what if something happened to me? What do you mean? I mean, like, what if I went for a swim out one day in the ocean, and then out of nowhere, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo, a shark comes along and eat my arms. Both of them. Really? But luckily, a lifeguard comes along and saves my life. But sad to say, my arms, well, they're both gunners, eaten by a great white. So look at me, look at me. This isn't funny. You know, I might need some help uh, getting dressed or brushing my teeth or even eating if, unless I can figure out how to do it with my legs. You're Not done. Flexible. But the question is, would you still marry me? No. What? I know what you're trying to do. But you wouldn't? Really? Yes, of course I would still marry you. Okay, good. And you know, your haircut is nothing compared to me losing my arms. Your hair will grow back, but my arms won't. Look at me. Look at me!
<laughs> okay, funny guy, but I still hate the way that I look. Hey, I know. What? Could you shave your head and then plop a veil over it. No one will even notice. I said I liked it. Maybe. No. <laughs> I like it. Hey, I like the towel. It looks good on you. It could work as a veil. See? How do I look? Georgia. Here comes the bride. George, stop! George! <laughs>